I am Anil Kumar sharing with you an excellent question from my student Christopher. Now Christopher, we were struggling to answer this since it was part of a chapter where we were learning arithmetic sequences and geometric sequences, right? However, this pattern is none of these and you know that was the problem and I think you are going through the same problem. Let us look into this pattern. We are looking into numbers 3, 10, 28, 72, 176 and so on. Now if you kind of split these numbers, now what really happens is that if you have a pattern which does not follow a straightforward application of what you have learned, then you have to extend your knowledge right so you have to extend so these are thinking questions now let us see how to split these terms and then get something when i get 28 uh, i could write this as 4 times 7 right 4 times 7 4 times 7 is 28 and uh, as far as 10 is concerned, uh, we do see 10 is 2 times 5. So seeing these numbers kind of give you uh, 2 times 5, 4 times 7. And how could you write 72? 72 is 8 times 9. Right. So these three numbers actually are very typical numbers. And the first factors which you think about are what we have written. Do you observe a pattern here? Well, what we see that the first term here is 2, 4, 8. So it seems as if uh, the first term is a power of 2, right? So this is power of 2 to the power of 1. Let me write here 2 to the power of 1. Here we have 2 to the power of 2. Here we have 2 to the power of 3. Now looking into this pattern, 3 could be multiple of 2 to the power of 0, which is which is 1. So it makes sense, right? So I could split 3 into uh, 1 times 3. Now, these odd numbers, 3, 5, 7, 9, also give you a pattern, right? So what we see here is that the first number is 2 to the power of n minus 1 is being multiplied by an odd number 3 5 7 9 now how do you get 3 as the first term it is 2 times n which is if, if n is 1 we get 2 plus 1 will give you 3 right uh, 5 second term if I write n as 2 2 times 2 is 4 4 plus 1 is 5 we do get it now 176 let's check this out can we apply this rule to get 176? That is to say, if I use the number 2 to the power of 4, right? That is what we expect, 2 to the power of 4. And we have to multiply this by, if I replace this with 4, this is, you know, this is term number 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5. Now, so basically, I have to... Uh, here we have to write uh, 5, right? Term number 5. So 2 to the power, 2 times 5 is 10. 10 times 1 is 11. So 2 to the power of 4 times 11. Let's check this out. So 2 to the power of 4, which is 16. But let's write as uh, we have a pattern here, times 11. What do we get? Yes, we do get 176. So we do get 176. So this is equal to 176 and therefore this rule works. So we can write down here as our answer as pattern rule is 2 to the power of n minus 1 times 2n plus 1. Correct? Now using this rule we can find sixth. 7th uh, and 8th terms. 
So term number 6, let me write down here, T6 will be 2 to the power of, uh, let me write 5 here, times uh, 6 we have to write. So 2 times 6 plus 1, okay. So let's calculate. So we have 2 to the power of 5 times uh, 12 plus 1, 13, right? So times 13, which is equal to 416. So we get 416 here. Let me write 416. The next term, T7, will be 2 to the power of 6, one less. 2 times 7 plus 1, which is... So we can just change this to 2 to the power of 6 now, times, and we know, 15, correct? We are going up to the next odd number, which is 960. And the next number, T8, should be 2 to the power of 7 times 2 times 8 plus 1, which is 17, right? So we'll change this to 2 to the power of 7 times 17, which is equal to 21. 76 right so the eighth number is 2176 so that is how you could actually solve this particular question so again let me emphasize that if you do not get a direct relation of finding a pattern rule you may have to split the numbers and see if there is a pattern that could help you to give you the right answer i hope that helps thanks for watching and feel free to share my videos and subscribe to them. Thank you and all the best.